I decided to make, I, I'm posting a video right now, but I'm going to do another one real quick on what to do and what not to do when somebody's having a panic attack. When somebody's having a panic attack, do not ask them, do you want a hug? I've had people say that to me before. Do you need a hug? Do you want a hug? No. Do not hug them. Do not ask if they want a hug because it makes them literally makes me claustrophobic. And then my anxiety gets worse. So don't ask them that. Don't, 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 don't ask them that. Another thing not to do is say, calm down. You don't, don't tell them to calm down. They can't control their emotions. And to tell them to calm down, it's going to be okay, it just makes it worse. Because in their mind, they're like, why won't this end? Why won't this end? I can't move. I can't think. I can't. And then their mind starts racing. And then you telling them to calm down just makes it worse. Another thing that is very important to, to really know is when somebody's having a major panic attack, the best thing you can do for them is saying, is there anything I can do to help you? Is there any way that I can make it much comfortable or for you at this moment? Is there something you need? That right there is a big help because when somebody says that or does that, it really calms your nerves. And uh, always remember this. Most people with anxiety and panic attacks, it they can't control what's going on. Their emotions are out of control. They will cry and they will laugh. They, well, I've, I've seen my friend laugh a lot when her anxiety's up. Me, I just tend to cry a lot. And I get very apologetic, so I'm apologizing for no reason. I'll be like, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And then, and most of the time, it, it's, most of the time you're just like, can't speak, can't hear. It's like you're there, but you're not there. And I am blessed though. Even though I do have anxiety, I have my mom who, well, that was weird. Mamas, I call her mamas, mamas with a Z, mamas, um there to support me to help me through it and um she always knows how to help me because she's been around me enough to know and enough to guide me through it and one of the big things that I do love about my mom is one of the big things that really helps me when I'm having an anxiety attack or a panic attack is she knows that I got to keep my body moving and I got to keep going. So she will keep moving and keep going with me. And I really appreciate that. Or my nanny, which is my mama's mom's. Um, when I get a panic attack in the car, I can call my nanny and talk to her, which is very helpful. Being able to talk to her really brightens up my my day especially in the car when my anxiety is through the roof but remember don't don't tell them to calm down don't try to hug them don't tell them do you want to sit down do you want to lie down don't do any of that because it's an adrenaline rush it's a chemical imbalance in the brain so they literally have adrenaline rushing through their body so they got to keep moving and with me, I pace back and forth. The more I pace, the faster I pace, the less the anxiety is. And it goes down. So just take into consideration that what they're going through, it's not something that they can help. It's not something that they can control. It's not something that they want. It's something they have to live with and something that they have to deal with. It's basically a battle that they have to fight with every day.
including taking medicine. Well, I got one left. I got to fill it up today. Taking medicine to help them through it. And it, it is stressful because you never know when it's going to kick in. And the minute you get into the uncomfortable position, your adrenaline will rush. So just take in consideration what they are going through. And instead of just helping immediately, like ask them what they need. Ask them what, what you can do to help so that you can do what they need and, and stuff like that because it makes a big difference. Bye.